Do you love to travel, but the fear of flying is stopping you from booking those trips? Does every time you fly, you get a shiver down your spine and want to throw up? This used to be me. I used to be a terribly nervous flyer. I used to cry on flights all the time. Now I am flying with a manageable stress level. In this two-part series, I am going to give you five tangible tips and five mindset tips to conquer your fear of flying and make sure that you never mess up another trip again because you're scared to fly. Hello, my name is Krista. Side note, I do have a mask. I am wearing it all throughout the airport. I am really secluded right now, so I took it off so you are able to hear me. But I do have a mask and I'm being careful traveling in this age of COVID. This is part one in a two-part series of how to overcome your fear of flying. In this video, I'm going to give you five mindset shifts to work on to change your fear of flying, maybe even to excitement of flying. We'll see. Tip number one, don't avoid flying just because you are scared of it. If you want to make travel a top priority in your life, not flying is going to cause so many limitations on your travel. If you really want to travel the world, you need to not overcome your fear of flying, but make sure it is manageable. Make sure you are not passing up trips because of your fear of flying. The only way to get to a manageable state when flying is to fly. There's no other remedy for it. So the first thing to do is face your fears head on, do not avoid flying, and use all these other tricks that I'm going to teach you to help manage, manage your stress levels when you get on the plane. Mindset tip number two is focus on your destination. Focus on something that you are so excited to be doing once you get off this plane. Are you going to visit your friends? Are you going to eat at the restaurant you really like? Are you just flying home so you can see your family? Focus on one thing you are super excited about and go back to that every time you start, you know, knowing that you're getting nervous. Just think about the flight as a process to get you to that point. You need to go on this flight so you can go do this awesome thing that you're really excited about. Mindset tip number three is know the routine. So there are just certain things that happen on a flight that are going to trigger you when you are on the flight. There's gonna be certain things that you know once you fly a bunch of times, you're gonna realize I always get scared during this prior, I always get scared during landing, I always get scared at this sound. So if you know those triggers, you'll be better able to deal with them when you're in flight. So for me, when after the initial takeoff, right, the engines are going at like top loudness. So it's like, and then when you get to cruising altitude, the engines kind of, it sounds like they're like shutting off, but they're really just like slowing down. Um, but that really scares me every time. But like for that, if you think about it in a car, when you're accelerating really fast, you have this big like, and then even when you get to a cruising speed, your engine kind of levels out. So that's just, that's what the plane's doing at that moment. For anything else that you might find, you know, look it up when you get home and see what's actually happening on your flight. Because chances are it's going to happen literally every time you fly, because it's just a normal part of the flight. Mindset tip number four is start learning the thought method and how to process it. So the thought method is something that I pretty recently discovered and it has literally changed my mindset game for me in all aspects of my life. I can't go into too much detail here because that's its old whole other channel, but the thought model is some steps that you can take through uh, pretty much every thought you have. So the first, the top level is the circumstance. So this is what's actually happening in reality. Reality, not your bias of what's happening, but just straight reality. So for flying, it'd be, I'm on a plane. That's it. The second is your thought about that circumstance. So the thought that you might have if you're scared of flying is I'm so scared of flying or this plane is going to crash. 
not a great thought to have, but it is just a thought. It is not your circumstance, okay? After thought is feelings. So you are going to have a feeling based on the thought you just produced in your brain. So your feeling is I'm feeling scared because I think that this plane is going to crash or because I, I think I am scared of flying, right? Now, being scared of flying is a thought. It is not a circumstance, okay? There's no subjective way you can, other people can know you are scared of flying. The only circumstance is that you are flying, okay? So after feelings, then you're going to have action. You will take an action on however you are feeling at the time. So if you are on that plane and you are feeling scared because you think think you are scared of flying because you, the circumstances you are in a plane, your action is you're going to feel like you want to puke. You're going to feel like you can't catch your breath. Your palms are going to be sweaty. You're going to cry like I do a lot. Uh, <laughs> so those are the actions that are being caused because of the feelings that you're having about flying. And the last one is result. So the actions that you take right, are then going to create a result for you in the future. So normally that result is I'm going to avoid flying at all costs, okay? I'm going to avoid flying because when I fly, I, I am sick to my stomach, my palms are sweaty, I cry a bunch because I am feeling scared because I think the plane is going to crash and I think I am afraid of flying because I am on a plane. I hope that is just uh, makes a little sense to you guys because I could go on all day about it. If you want more information on the thought model and ways to think through the thought model to change your thoughts, check out the podcast, Unfuck Your Brain. It is amazing. It's changed my life and my brain and I hope it will too too. I'm not sponsored or affiliated. I just really love this podcast. <laughs> and mindset tip number five is don't try to ignore or suppress your fear. It is not going to work, okay? So I just talked about the thought model. The thought model is not a way to like just push down all those nasty thoughts you're having about flying. Okay, you're never going to feel more comfortable on a plane until you deal with those fears that you are facing. So I like to, when I am feeling fear and I am feeling those negative feelings caused by those negative thoughts, I really like to get curious and work myself through that thought model and find ways that I can have a different thought model that I can focus on. And that's how you're ultimately going to work on your fear and not just ignore it every time you get on a plane and then pretty soon you'll be excited to fly on a plane and you'll want to like look out the window and talk to people and stuff it'd be awesome this is part one in a two-part series so if you would like to be notified when the second part comes out or if you want to check out other tips and tricks on how to make travel a top priority in your life, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time a new video comes out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. I'm so awkward. What do I do at the end of these?